Halloween school parties. What do I do? By Phil Philomena Ripple. All, all of the ideas in this book can be adapted to parties outside of school. So. And so. This was made in like 1997, I think. Late 70s, 19, the late 90s. Yeah, 1996. Yeah, I would have been going into like kindergarten. <laughs> About there, yeah. Almost. <laughs> but yeah. Now I'm, now I'm thinking of when I would exactly would have gotten to kindergarten, but you got chapter index and they kind of go over the same kind of theme if you, if you want that to be called. So you got like different categories. So bat, cat, Frankenstein, ghost, pumpkin, skeleton, spider, and witch. And then you got all-time favorite games. And then um, it will do the same thing for crafts and favors, bat, cat, Frankenstein, ghost, pumpkin, skeleton, spider, which extra craft ideas. So it kind of goes that for in each section, you get those ones and then the extra stuff at the end. So and then you got some icons that have been used. So yeah, and this really does kind of scream 90s <laughs> drawings. And then you kind of get like some, they ask a question and you get responses from like parents and kids. So helpful hints for room parents. And then you, you kind of get like this thing where you could like photocopy and reuse over and over again. So it's a party report form room parents assignment list and notes so you can use that over and over again and I'm pretty sure you could use this for some other types of parties it doesn't have to do go along with Halloween and so like chapter two you're getting into the games and so you at the beginning you kind of get like these helpful hints type of thing so get read the intro introduction for important game information give all the children a chance to play some children do not want to par participate but let them choose and so kind of like helpful hints to smooth things along and then you, you also get kind of like little bits of information Bats are the only mammals that can fly. They find their way around in the dark by listening with their ears to, to sounds and their echoes. So you can, like if you want a daily kind of fun fact kind of, you kind of get some ideas there. So you do have random other um, little notes on the side and okay, with with everything in like this book, you get like the title, what gray, like you get the name of it and in brackets, you get the grade. And so in this one, it's K to two and in this one's K to six. And then you need this one, um, the supplies and the directions on how to do it. So like how to play the game or whatever. And what I find a little odd, I guess, at the end of each section, so at the end of the bat, bat crafts or the bat games or the cat games or whatever, it gives you the name of it and what supplies would be needed. So it's a master list of what would be needed of what was just talked about. So like to me, like, I don't know about other people, but I would have liked this at the beginning of the section, rather at the end as a divider. So to me, this would be a good divider at the beginning of each craft or game or whatever, than at the end. So.
So, and then you got Ghost Bingo, and then you get a, um, four different types of like bingo cards that you could photocopy. And I'm pretty sure you could like adjust as needed. And then like, and if there's a pattern needed, this will go for your, like, I think that one for the crafts. And so like it somewhat helps you with the like a finished product and like how to fold or whatever. So, but yeah, and like for witch hat treasure, kind of, I guess these are the templates, yeah, the templates, and then, so, and then it has a section of treats, so uh, it has an ingredients list and directions on how to make them, so like, Oreo spiders, spider pop, popcorn balls, bewitching hats, flying witch, witches flying broom cookies, and then you get do get a few drinks, and then helpful like you got cost costume ideas. So if you're doing bat theme party, you got a bat costume, which black socks, black shoes, black stretch pants. So it's basic kind of clothing that you don't have to really go to a specialty shop for so yeah so it does give you ideas again i think a few of these books i'm doing for halloween gives ideas of what you could do to decorate your house or whatever or if you're doing a party oh my god you could use these for it and especially if you have like the younger kids around and then yeah they have a valentine's party book so i don't know if they would have other books like for for christmas or easter or whatever but you got something for halloween though which i find pretty cool so halloween school parties what do i do by philomena ripple so uh, at least I'm saying it. Vilamina. <laughs> Happy readings.